New materials and techniques are being tested all the time. And this work is carried out at the National Grids Laboratories near Leatherhead in Surrey. Here in the main high voltage testing laboratory, with its equipment that would not look out of place in a science fiction film, we can see a lightning generator being used to carry out feasibility tests on the breakdown voltages of insulators made from an experimental new substance. This material potentially offers not only better insulating properties than glass, but would also be less expensive and would have considerably increased durability. Whichever material is used for the insulators, these support the conductors using a system of drilled plates which enable the four cables which make up the line to be adjusted evenly. The conductor is made off using a special lug. This tool exerts a pressure of over 100 tonnes and is powered through hydraulic lines by an engine driven pump at ground level. Connection between the sections of the line are made by means of bow shaped conductors called jumpers. To prevent these long lines from building up oscillations in very high winds, devices known as Stockbridge dampers are fitted near to each insulator. The conductor running along the top of the pylons is an earth line to bond together the metalwork of the towers in the event of a fault or even a lightning strike. Indeed lightning, even if it is only in the vicinity of a line, can be a source of trouble, setting up high voltages which cause arcing across the insulators and damage to plant. To help prevent this, horns are fitted to both the conductor and to the earthed end of the insulators. These serve as spark gaps, which when an abnormal voltage builds up, allows this to harmlessly jump the gap and pass to earth without damaging the insulator. The final operation is to fit the cross bracing brackets. These are intended to prevent the four sets of conductors from clashing together in high winds. This work is carried out using special lightweight trolleys which can be hauled along the lines by hand. 